Hello Gemini and welcome to your December love reading. I have already pre-shuffled your cards and laid down a Celtic cross that has been clarified already and I'm gonna pull as well three cards from the Psychic Tarot deck, one representing your past uh, position, one your present position and the other one your future position. Please show us a card for Gemini when it comes to their past position. Okay. Hmm. One for their present position. for their future position. Okay, perfect. At the bottom of the deck here, you have a spiritual union. So for some of you, you are dealing with a soulmate connection. Definitely, and your reading is pretty much showing this tight attachment to somebody. Okay, in the past, uh, I mean, in your present position here, let's go from the present, we go to the past, and then we move into the future. Um, for some of you, you're dealing with a third party situation and you are aware of it and you have been given so much love and you're running out of love you know could be also a friend and you are feeling left out by giving so much giving more than you receive okay and this is what's challenging here for you is you really try to re refocus or focus yourself into creating or um, yeah creating what it is uh, you know what brings you stability in life and yet you're trying to balance between uh, the love for yourself and the love for this person or uh, balance between uh, your work and your uh, love life or to me it, I really strongly feel balance between two partners that really that's the feeling I have although you have all the resources to do something beautiful here and be very stable with someone a specific someone could be also a Sagittarius but here you're trying to give a little bit here and there or you are coping with the situation where you know the other person is giving uh, a, like giving of her energy around and you're really not happy about that and you want it all for yourself okay in the past position as I said there is definitely a karmic uh, relationship with this person and you really it takes you really in the guts here just in your solar plexus and this card is showing that you really have to rebalance your solar plexus and clear it out because there is like a sense of although like um, feeling insecure somehow or feeling lonely and there is some sadness that is stuck there in your solar plexus is just eating you alive you have been offering I mean you have dropped the burden again I don't know why I say again to me it's like a repeating pattern and things are happening again and again and again um, I feel like a very karmic relationship okay you have dropped your burden put your pride aside and again offer this person love or a new beginning okay and that's why you've been you know perhaps working on yourself to not be overly overly demanding let's say and focus on some other things but yet here you are still coping with 
either this friendship that is an inequal between giving and uh, inequality between giving and receiving and here you keep on giving love but you don't have anything anymore to give but you're still pouring from an empty cup okay in your foundation here be careful because what you think is security is not and here it's bringing you a sense of discontentment and you're not happy about the fact that you know um, this is not bringing you the world as uh, as just the, oh, sorry <coughs> um, so to speak it's not bringing you the world that you want to have it's not bringing you the stability that you want to have and you keep on pouring yourself out to this person but the thing here is <clears throat> you have a solitude so this is a hermit card <clears throat> sorry this is a hermit card maybe you will have to do some introspection and see what it is you want in order to continue moving into this direction but to me this is really really focusing on let's say a new path that will bring you positivity into your life because I feel here that again you have the ace of cups in the reverse okay and the page of cups in the reverse so there is absolutely no more to give you have given it all okay and the fact that you have to stop being stubborn about something that you think is working only the way you see things okay people are different and they not perhaps they not they don't see they don't see situations or i don't know relationships the way you see them yourself and as i said there is a definitely karmic relationship when it comes to a, a past relationship or a past partner or a situation you are holding on into bitter memories you're holding on into memories and here this is again the three of cups in the reverse definitely definitely for some of you you are really really stuck between either two partners or not knowing which direction to take um, when it comes to love you have the potential of moving forward here you really have the potential of moving forward definitely here you have the as I said the hermit so it's a period of introspection for you Gemini and then what's coming to you is rest and rejuvenate because this is the four of um, the sorry the four of swords and you really have to focus and focus on what it is you need and try to just absorb um, this energy because you are going to be guided and the angels are going to show you the way only if you give them a chance to express themselves to you because here there is a definite death to all of this definite transformation and you have a new beginning coming towards you but you are not allowing this transformation you are really really stopping this transformation from happening and this new beginning from happening so if you keep on holding on into this situation you can be stuck here for ages honestly exactly as i said stuck for ages because you have the opportunity to make a decision and move forward yeah see you're trapped into between two people here two decisions two paths and and you don't know which one to take so you have a, a very stable one with this person could be an earth sign or you have you know holding on into the past and not knowing like not knowing the outcome of this um, situation or relationship 
to me you really have to let go of this third party situation you're going through or this I don't know unconventional friendship I'd say I don't know and take on the action of here this is you taking action on what it is you want to achieve having a lot of energy into um, putting all your energy into um, making happen what you want uh, in your life but here you're acting in a way that is very bossy and let's say a little bit possessive and this is exactly what what are you fearing because the way you you are with maybe perhaps this past relationship is you being too possessive or too engaged or too in their lives so they're not really reciprocating their love for you the way you give it to them okay and to me here the decision that you need to take again you have twice the queen of wands and the decision you need to take here is to just let go of your bossy side keep on your positive and fiery energy okay and you are going to be happy you know just you you can be passionate about yourself and your life but don't uh, overlap anybody's life because it will um, step on your happiness so love is setting free and if this person is meant to be in your life then they will be in your life you just have to refocus and reconcentrate your energies on yourself and focus on what it is that you need to you know to to move forward and really really go inwards and have all the and en all the answers are within yourself the ultimate happiness for you is really to i know you you yeah you can be too two-sided but no try to just pick one side and focus yourself into that and see what it is you want in life make the right decision for you and um <clears throat> give some space to the other person in order for them to come your way because to me I, it feels like you're they, they feel a little bit uh, yeah and that's the feeling I have at the moment I feel like I can't even breathe so give them some space it's weird I never have this feeling when I do a uh, reading but you have to just give them some space and and to me this is you to them not them to you but could be them to you i i don't know but um that's the feeling i've got <coughs> okay we are going to do um <coughs> sorry a love a potential spread here so please bring on <clears throat> the partner you want the potential partner the ex-partner anyone you want to inquire about Oops. okay and we are going to use the romance angel cards by Doreen Virtu and we're going to ask the angels what it is Gemini needs to know between them and their potential partner. Please show us. Gemini, five cards for Gemini. going to clarify with the witch's tarot
Okay, here we go. <clears throat> so that's you. Let me, I'll just open all the cards and then we'll... Okay, Gemini, so that's you. There is a strong magnetic attraction here between you and this person you have inquired about to the point that it is an obsession. It's an addiction. It's not even a chemistry. It's really, really an addiction. You can never get enough of this person. And you really have to be careful. That's why I told you earlier that you have to pay attention to not overlap into their lives because they also have things going on and they don't feel uh, like they could breed with um, this energy that you have for them and <clears throat> as I said I felt like it was unconventional and here again uh, this is them could be religious factors or anything uh, maybe uh, an upbringing um, maybe a different upbringing that you have or a different spiritual path that they have that they have uh, you know and they are juggling between two things so perhaps they are the one in another relationship or they're juggling between uh, either two people or juggling between making a decision not knowing if they should stay in this relationship or not okay <clears throat> as I said definitely they are soulmates <coughs> there is definitely um, a relationship here with a soulmate and the seven of wands is you standing your ground both of you standing your ground. this is the potential you definitely know that you are soulmates for one another okay but the thing is what are we going to do with that shall we move forward or shall we just let it be and and take um step by step what it is that you guys need to do here in the advice for some of you You will have a deception coming forward. You will just realize that uh, they were wearing either a false mask or you are not really honest with them. And one of you is going to move forward, move fast. And as you say, there is a deception and they're moving away. So either you've been having a de you've, you've been deceived in the past and you're moving away from this deception and starting new or you are going to have a deception and you are going to move away from them okay but i see definitely here this is the outcome there are definitely romantic feelings uh, they're real although someone is wearing a false mask the feelings are re real for one another okay and the king of pentacles is here you know showing the stability and the let's say the the truth of this feeling the, this is not i mean this cannot be fake this is real so take things slow and see how this king of pentacles is going to move forward with what you have it's better instead of you know taking the energy of the queen of wands could be male or female once again uh, instead of that just take the energy of the king of pentacles and be very uh, let's say um, put your grounds down and be very stable take one step at a time know exactly what you need to do because you know this could be very beautiful if um, with the romantic feelings it can be it can work work out beautifully if only you know how to take you know the time to move one step forward at a time okay and not be all over this person just try to work on this addiction that you have whatever it is 
you have and things will you know work really well on your favor here okay let's see we're gonna ask the uh, angel healing cards if there is anything that can help you move forward anything you need to know that can help you move forward anything you need to heal that can uh, take you out from this addiction or codependency that you have please angels show us what does Gemini need to do in order to move forward into their okay beautiful card enchantment okay look at this card so instead of like focusing on what it is you don't have and be overly bossy and you know in the country just look around and see what you have around you count your blessings because at the bottom of the deck here you have answered prayers you are definitely guided Gemini you're definitely guided you are shown the way and to me it feels like the more you are out in nature the more the more you are going to have clear ideas about your next step or your path as i said you might be taking the energy of the hermit a little bit and just you know a little bit go inwards and see what it is you need and also you have the energy of the four of swords uh, you are taking a little step back in order for you to move uh, forward like uh, one step back in order to for you to go two step forward okay and now the time has come to just to answer one of your personal questions so go ahead and pause this video okay <laughs> go ahead and pause this video and whenever you have a, a question if you are meant to know the answer then the angels are going to answer you okay once when when you're ready just play back the video and here i have the card for you okay and if you're supposed to know you are you are going to have a specific answer for your question and the answer is here listen to your intuition okay and at the bottom of the deck you have no need to worry and listen to your intuition so gemini you really have to trust in yourself if 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 you need to take a step back as i said go ahead because you will have answered prayers you are guided your intuition is very strong at the moment so go ahead and you will get the answers you need to do and you will actually if you ask the angels you will be guided to your divine destiny 